מאמין. לא מאמין. כן, תמיר. John League and Casby, hello. Uh, hi, Luis and King Noob and Tina, hello. Hello, good to see you. How's the food, Charles? Is it good? Uh, hi, Justine. Good to see you. Cold and windy, boys. Yeah, good idea. Don't want to get in a bad storm. today. Hey. Oh, hi, John Lee. Yeah, hello. Oh, hey, stop jumping on him.
Yeah, kind of good to see you. Yeah, I wish it was 73 degrees here. It's cold out. Baby, I think it's time to come back in. It's cold and windy. Come on. Oh, hi, Flush Lover. Good to see you. School drama. Oh, that's no fun. What is that? No, hey, hey, no, not for you. No, not for you. Oh, work today was busy. I feel I'm feeling a little tired from work today. It's just kind of a little busy and a little exhausting. All right, come on, let's go back inside, babe. Come on. I take a break from this hot, this cold weather. Oh my gosh. It's... Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go inside. Hmm? Oh, hey, Granny. Good to see you. Hi, Alfredo. Uh, Plush lover, hello. Good to see you. Gosh, you're just being so naughty. Come here. We'll come back out later. Come on. Gosh, she's so dramatic. Gosh, she's just so dramatic about coming inside. It's it's really cold and windy. It's like 40 degrees and super windy. Huh, interesting word. Didn't know that. It's a new one. Uh, hello, Caesar. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, Urban Dictionary.
Well, thunderstorms are more common in the spring and summertime, right? Charles, where you go? I think he's going to go take a nap. Yeah, looks like he just had some dinner. And Boy, doesn't a nap sound good right now? Aren't there several cultures that take siestas? A siesta right now sounds amazing. Was it Spain? Spain or Mexico? Somewhere like that, I think. that I could be wrong. I guess I don't know for sure. Oh, it's Tasso's birthday? Oh, the release of Murder Jones Season 2? Oh, goodness. What do you think, Charles? Hey, hey. No, I mean, we're not jumping on him, are we? We're not playing rough. We can, we can call on things, but... Charles just had a big dinner, and I don't want him puking it up. I think he might take a nap pretty soon here. There was a thunderstorm in 
2021. Uh, let's see. Uh, hello, Black Hand. Good to see you. Yeah, no puking today, please. I kind of like to see more, more TV shows based on video games, but that's just me. There really aren't that many TV shows based on video games. Now, hey Gertrude, good to see you. Yeah, a Skyrim TV show would be kind of fun. Actually, there's a there's a Fallout, uh, a Fallout TV show coming up, isn't there? Yeah. Forgot about that one. Hi. No kisses for you. Okay. It's not working. Um, a Dune TV show? I still have to see Dune 2 in the theaters. It should still be out. Oh, Bean. I, and yeah, I gotta see Dune. I wanna see it this week. I gotta work this weekend, but... I got to work this weekend, but I'd still like to see Dune in, in the movie, in the movie theater. Someone told me that Star Wars Episode One is coming back to movie theaters in May to celebrate the 25th anniversary of it. And that sounds really exciting. Oh yeah, Halo, the Halo TV show, I forgot about that, yeah. Yeah. I just kind of I I watched a preview of the Star Wars TV show Acolyte, and I wasn't really that impressed with it. Unfortunately, I think Star Wars is just kind of like the newer TV shows, like the last five years or so. A lot of Star Wars TV so shows just seem kind of just seem kind of cheap. S some of them do. Um, I liked the Star Wars TV show Andor. Andor was good. And actually, I think the animated TV shows were... The cartoons, like the Star Wars animated cartoons from the last... The last ten years or so, I think those were pretty good too, actually. <clears throat> I wasn't really sure if I like the animated TV shows for Star Wars, but they're really good. Actually, I think the, I think the animated TV shows are better than the recent movies. Um, the Book of Boba Fett was okay. That was okay. Um, the Mandalorian was pretty decent. Uh, hello, one more YouTube account. Hello, good to see you. Um, what else is going on? Um, I gotta call my mom tonight. 
Gotta check up on my mom, see how she's doing. I'll probably give her a call after the live stream's over. Um, actually, I'm not really sure she's home yet. Actually, I could double check. Hang on a second. Let me see. Actually, I checked. Uh... Oh, hey, Tasso. Good to see you. Happy birthday, Tasso. Um, happy birthday to Tasso. Um, I checked my mom and she's not, she's actually grocery shopping. We have the, we have the Find My Friends app. That Find My Friends app for iPhones and I just checked and she, my mom is at the grocery store right now. So she's not watching TV, she's not watching Uh, um, code red. Mm. <coughs> yeah, we're not going in the parking garage tonight, kitten. No, sorry. I sorry about that. Daddy, sorry. Hmm. Rub my back, Daddy. I need loves and cuddles. Cat Mom Jen offered me to try one of these Atkins protein shakes. Offered me to try one of these Atkins protein shakes because my protein shakes are almost gone. So Cat Mom Jen offered me to try one of these. So I think I might do that. Um, a bunch of rocks. I think those rocks go outside on the patio in the summertime when it's nice. What else is going on? Yeah, I cannot speak. Also, I have to decide what I'm having for dinner tonight. I'm thinking about having, um, thinking about having another meal kit tonight for dinner. But I, I don't think I don't think I'll do a cooking with Nick segment tonight. Um, I'm not really sure about a cooking with Nick segment. call my mom tonight after the live stream to check on check on her hi what's up kittens are we doing okay here's my Costco list got a Costco list going Charles are you really sure you want to go outside it's cold out there I turned the furnace off because the furnace was kicking on. I wish, sometimes I wish we had like a patio, that like an enclosed patio or like four season patio. But maybe another time. I Sal, good to see you. It's cold out here.
little bit too cold. Yeah, he's pretty active. He's doing pretty good. Uh, good to see a plush lover have a good dinner. Pull of Southern Charm, good to see you. Yeah, when you hear thunder, um, that means a lightning strike has happened, right? So lightning strike first and then thunder. Actually, I don't think there's church tonight. I think church is tomorrow. I think church is tomorrow instead of today. Yeah, Easter is early this year. I think it's called um, Mon Monday Thursday services. And then Good Friday, so it's Monday, Thursday, Good Friday. And then I think Easter Sunday is this Sunday, I think. I could be wrong, though. So I believe we'll do church tomorrow night, which is why I got to call my mom and just double check that she's going to want to go with us tomorrow. Play time for Kitten Noah Bean.
Oh, uh, my day was good. Um, it was busy and a little exhausting. Um, but it was it was good overall. How was your day? Uh, most people know I'm a I'm a delivery driver for a large package delivery company. <laughs> So as you can imagine, if it's busy, you know, a lot of steps, a lot of walking, a lot of in and out of the truck, a lot of driving. So I'm dealing with traffic all day. Um, the current route I have is uh, I deliver to I deliver to the largest university in the state. So that's pretty much my my work area so I spend a lot of time I spend a lot of time on campus uh, dealing with loading docks dealing with university employees so uh, hi Mika good to see ya was home all day working from the computer oh nice yeah, I'm not really sure I could ever, I'll ever have one of those working from home jobs. Un unless somehow YouTube, YouTube replaces me working my normal job, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, how many steps do I have today? Let's check. Let's see. Um, 28,000 steps today. I would say a normal day for me is somewhere between 25 and 30,000 steps total. Uh, hey, Michael Zane, good to see you. Yeah, I think Cat Mom Jen is around. Uh, what is it? So if you have a, I have a Fitbit, and if you have friends that also have a Fitbit, um, it kind of groups you up, and you can see how many steps everyone does. And I'm usually doing about twenty-five thousand more steps per day than anyone else in in our little friend group of Fitbit wearing people. Uh, hello, Cryo Z Filler Light Show with Creator Demon Grinder. Well, that's quite a name. Holy smokes! steps is Noah doing? I don't know. That's a good question, but I'm probably doing more steps than Noah can. We did get a couple pieces of fan mail. Um, we got something from Daniel O'Hara, and we also got something from Ruger Cat. Um, Noah's about a year and a half old. So... 
Yep. So I got a couple things from them. Um, yeah, Rupert Cat and Daniel O'Hare aren't aren't on the live streams as much, but um, I can definitely open them up and and share them with people. Okay, so we got uh, got something from uh, this is from this is from Daniel O'Hara, an envelope. I'm not going to show his address, but let's see what we got from Daniel. So this is from Daniel O'Hara from, um, I think he's from Arizona. We'll just say he's from Arizona. I think he's shared that before. Um, oh, I got a Easter card. Easter wishes from Daniel O'Hara. Okay, that's a very nice card, love it. Uh, to Charles, Noah, Nick, and Jen. Hope every little joy of Easter makes your heart bloom with happiness from Dan and Ellie O'Hara. Oh, very cute. A safe, healthy, and happy Easter. Fantastic. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, Daniel O'Hara. I know he's not on the live stream all that much, um, but I could probably do a community post or something with that. Thanking him for that lovely Easter card. And we got something from Ruger Cat. Um, Ruger Cat is just a couple towns over from us. Oh, jeez. Oh no, oh god, Charles, no. No, don't puke on this one. Oh no. Oh, Charles. Oh, Charles, oh god. Oh. What are you puking up, buddy? Why did you have more food, dude? I don't understand why you ate more dry kibble. Huh? Why did you have more dry kibble? I just fed you, baby. Looks like... <sighs> I fed him dinner, and then it looks like he ate a couple pieces of dry kibble and... Drink a bunch of water, now he's puking. <sighs> oh man. Oh man. That's gonna be incredibly difficult to clean up, unfortunately.
Charles, Charles, what am I gonna do with you, buddy, huh? Might just have to take away their food after they have, take away their kibble after they have wet food. Don't really know how else to solve that. Because he likes having, he likes having the, the wet kibble, the wet food for dinner. But if he's going to puke, if he's going to um, eat a bunch of dry kibble afterwards and then drink a bunch of water and then puke everything up, it, not good, Charles. Oh, buddy. Oh, Charles, Charles. Oh goodness, I should probably go check on him. You feeling okay? I'm not really sure why you wanted more dry kibble and then you ate a bunch you drank a bunch of water, huh? Hmm. Not feeling good? Not really sure how to handle that, huh? Hmm. Um, yeah, it, it, they, they might work in the washer, otherwise if we don't do a washing machine, maybe we can send it to a dry cleaner. Well, I don't really see any other puke spots, so you must be feeling, not feeling sick. Uh, hi, Sarah. Good to see you. Messy commute, rain. Yeah, I guess there's a lot of people that probably take the subway and the subway or buses in New York. Uh, hello, Oscar Nan Nando's. Hello, good to see you. Be careful on that subway.
Another person got pushed in front of a train on the subway? Oh gosh. That's horrible. Well, Charles looks okay. I don't know why he puked a little bit. Probably just from overeating, I would think. Oh, I saw a video. Um, I think it was New York City where some guy... There was a guy, a protester or something, and there were a bunch of people protesting the mirror. And... He, he brought pizzas to, like, the mayor's office or something, and he started throwing pizzas over a fence onto, like, I don't know if it was, like, City Hall or something in New York City, like, New York City Hall, but this guy was throwing pizzas over a fence onto City Hall <laughs> uh, to protest the mayor. I saw a video about that. Yeah, then the police arrested him for throwing pizzas. Or for arrested him for littering pizzas on City Hall or something. I don't know why pizza. He might have been like a pizza shop owner. I also think it had something to do with um, New York City wants to ban gas stoves, I think. And I guess there's going to be like some sort of city ordinance or something where restaurants or just everyone has to get rid of their gas stoves because um, I guess they're saying that gas stoves are toxic. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe they were protesting. Maybe, I think it might have been a pizza shop owner or something. Yeah, I don't think, I think that... I don't know. Um, I'm not sure something like that would ever happen around here. I can see like New York City or Los Angeles trying to do something like that, but like in the rest of the country, I don't think that would ever happen. I don't think they would ever be able to like ban stoves because there's just too many people, too many people in smaller towns. And in rural areas that rely on natural gas, natural gas or propane uh, for heating and cooling. Yeah, I prefer, I prefer gas stoves. Um, but ours is electric. It's just the way it is. Um, at our at our cabin up north, the cabin up north has a gas stove, and I really I really like it. It's an older gas stove, but it's up north. You know, we have uh, we got a propane tank. It's like a massive LP tank that gets filled like once a year. And, you know, all the heating and cooling, well, all the heating is done through that gigantic LP tank. So there's really no way they could ever ban gas stoves or anything like that in you know, smaller towns or anything. Oh, hey, Alfredo, good to see you. We were just talking about pizza and gas stoves.
Yeah, I, I agree about that. Give people a choice as they as to what they want to do. Yeah, the electric grid could definitely not handle all electric vehicles. Um, Just, it's just not not really possible. Maybe a long time from now, but To, I forgot to show Rupert Cat's uh, fan mail. Um, no, I think Daniel O'Hara. Um, he, I don't think he's been on for a while. Um, I think the last time he was on a live stream was probably a couple months ago. I haven't seen him on in a long time. Um, all right, Ken, why don't we come back inside, please? Take a break. Take a break and come inside for a second, please. Come on. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Okay. So where were we before Charlie puked? Um, oh yeah, and Charlie puked. <laughs> um, so we were on the cat tree here, and we were opening up a couple pieces of fan mail. Um, this is from Ruger Cat. Ruger Cat is just a couple towns over. It looks like we got a Tiki Cat Sticks Wet Treat. Six individual lickable servings with duck and creamy gravy. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Ruger Cat. We also got... Um, a card from Ruger Cat. Uh, let's see. Oh, looks like an Easter card. Um, hoping that your Easter brings... Oh, a second. Uh, springtime bright and happy things. Light or bright. Um... Just a little treat to thank you for letting us be a part of your world. And the videos you share, you bring such joy. Aww, Ruger Cat, a.k.a. Pamela. Very kind of you, thank you. And uh, got a couple of wonderful Easter cards and um, some treats. Grain free Tiki Cat. I don't think I've ever had Tiki Cat products, so that's awesome. There, now I can finally. Okay. Tiki Cat. Um, where is this? I don't really know much about Tiki Cat products. Um, let's see. Ingredients duck broth, duck, chicken, egg. Natural tuna flavor, natural chicken. Okay. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, hello, Peiko. Good to see you. Uh, hi, Steve. Good to see you. This is bath time for Noah Kitten.
Yeah, I think he'd be outside more. If it wasn't so cold, he'd be more active, but it's just really cold and windy and I can't really keep the door open. And he also ate a bunch of food, so maybe that's it too. Hey, Kevin. Hey. It was just a little thing, huh? If he wants to play, it's a very cute purring. Nope. Very cute purring, Noah Kitten. I think he's purring up a storm, yes. Oh look, there's Rich and Violet across the street. Can't really see him too well. Yep. I know. You're scared of big dogs, aren't you? The people have spoken. I must have missed something. What happened? Um, no, I, I gave Murray a 24-hour ban.
Yeah, I don't really know if Marie's able to join yet. I gave him a temporary ban on the channel. Oh, hey, Stan. Good to see you. Yeah, I don't actually see Maria on the on the chat. Uh, hello, Little Snacks. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. How do we play a little game, buddy? You just sleepy? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? just steps over the line, says things that are not appropriate. Uh. Well, thanks for stopping by, UV. It's a pleasure to have everyone. It's a pleasure to have you and everyone else that stops by to say hi. Oh, really? Now you bite, huh? Mm -mm, mm -mm. All right. What do we do? Gotta drain some of your cat energy, huh? Ooh, Mexican food. That does sound good. Yeah, unless unless they make another account, it's possible to make another account or another channel or another account and stop and uh, watch the live stream. Oh, 
Oh. Dad, I almost fell. Eight thirty AM, oh my gosh. Well, thanks for watching from wherever you live. I have no idea where 8.30 a.m. would be. Australia. Oh, well, thanks for watching from Australia. I think we've had one or two people from Australia or New Zealand watch. Hi, Dave, if you're watching. sitting on my arm. Yeah, we'll have to get a we'll have to let Noah try one of these tiki treats. Uh, Charles is upstairs. He had a little accident. He overate again. 
puked up a little bit and went upstairs. So Noah, or I'm um, sorry, Charles is upstairs. Noah's down here. Yeah, sometimes I don't know. I think he's he's hung, he's he overeats a little bit and then he drinks a lot of water and then he pukes. He's done that. He did that last week too. Uh, your dad fought the Taliban and, oh, interesting story. Um, they're not eating a lot of food. Um, I think, I think part of the problem is Charlie, I've only seen Noah puke twice since we've had him, but, uh, Charles, he has he has dinner and then he goes up he went upstairs today and then he had a couple pieces of dry kibble and it looked like he drank a bunch of water too. So combination of eating more dry kibble and drinking water. Hi. What are you doing here? Just sitting on the floor like this, buddy. Hmm? So Oh my gosh. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, we feed him in the morning and then uh, I feed him dinner at night when I get home from work. Can he fly? No. I mean, he looks fine, and you think he's doing okay. Uh, could be, yeah. Charles' favorite food is wet food. Okay. Uh, the water bowl and food bowl are they're both separate.
Hi, no kitten. What you doing, baby? Huh? Gonna be nice to your brother. tall am I? I'm about six feet tall or six feet one or something like that. Not too tall. Uh, if they get a million subs, uh, fresh, fresh meat, um, Maybe, if I can afford it, I don't know. They kind of like just uh, normal cat food. Um, I've had one, one of Noah's videos did pretty well. It doesn't really happen very often. It's kind of rare. Uh, financial holdings, uh, in index fund cat. Yeah, I guess, I guess so. Uh, hi Nina. Good to see you. Uh, hello, let's see, TLST94, hello. Financial holdings and frisky stock, yeah. A lack of vitamin, because maybe I guess it's possible. What do you think, Charles? A lack of vitamin, huh? I think they look around just at their surroundings to see what's going on. Looking for threats or looking for food. Or... Um, a new tree. Um, no, both both cat trees that we have are, are kind of old. I think we've hold one of the cat trees is uh, like 15 years old. The other cat tree is i want to say six or seven years old so we've had both cat trees for a long time Uh, Charles's birthday is in August, uh, Noah's birthday is in October, and my birthday is in December.
Uh, hello, Renz. Good to see you. I actually might have to head downstairs and head downstairs now and actually get uh, get some rice cooking for dinner here pretty soon. Just gonna get a couple things out. Uh, yep, Noah's in October. All right, where are you, Bean? Coming back downstairs? Oh, hi, Charles. Oh, Charlie, baby. Here, I'll turn on the light. Hi, kitten. some of the extra hair off of you <clears throat> all right there how do you feel now Charles Yeah, Noah's birthday. We decided Noah's birthday is October 28th. I think Charlie's birthday is August 11th, I believe. Oh, thank you, Nina. Thank you for the generous donation. Thank you for the super chat. That's very kind of you, Nina. Thank you. What's up, Noah Bean? You got a lot to say right now? Hmm? Hey. Uh, we're in Wisconsin. Close to Michigan. Well, a lot of the Midwest homes look nice. I think it kind of depends on where you are. Some homes look nice, some look okay. Oh. Uh, Noah was meowing. No, oh, baby, we're going to stay inside. It's too cold for that, I know. 
I know, I'm so mean. Yeah, Mr. Roger socks. Yeah, I just have normal socks on today. What else do we got over here, buddy? Uh-oh. Couple more minutes, huh? There, I'll open that for you. Oh, sorry about that. That's okay, come here. You're okay. No. Come here. There, see? That's okay. Got the narwhal toy. Got a couple other things. Ooh. Yeah, hello, Massey Orange Cat. Good to see you. Oof, I just got the low battery warning on my phone, so unfortunately I think I'm going to have to end pretty soon. Um, hopefully uh, Daniel O'Hara and Ruger Cat um, watch. Otherwise, uh, I think we'll probably send them a thank you card. Um, can you eat the narwhal? I don't think the narwhal is edible. Hmm? Yeah, it's a pretty nice neighborhood. It's a pretty quiet neighborhood. We got we got some retirement um, senior citizen housing, and we got some retirement housing around here. Uh, we also have um, a couple memory care. Um, memory care senior housing units around here so it's it's a pretty and we got a school around here so it's pretty and there's a church around here so uh, we also have Charlie who's 14 so we got two cats Noah's a year and a half old and Charlie's uh, 14 Okay, everyone, I'm going to have to get going here. Um, got to get dinner figured out. Um, looks like we got a doggy walking by. Let's see. Oh, that's a big old poodle, huh? Noah's watching from the window. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, uh, thank you so much for stopping by to say hi. Uh, we had 40 people on today. 40 people is a lot. Um Oh my gosh, and some newer peop new faces. Um, my battery's going to die here pretty soon, so I got to get going and got to get dinner going. Um, hopefully I can do a live stream tomorrow. I know we had some kind of church thing going on tomorrow night, so I'm not too sure if I'm able to live stream tomorrow, hopefully. Um, but if not tomorrow, hopefully on Friday. Um, enjoy your night. Uh, thank you again, Nina, for the wonderful donation, the super chat. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks, channel members, for um, subscribing to the channel and um, your monthly donations really mean a lot to us. And everything goes right towards the cats. It goes back towards food and vet bills, um, Charlie's arthritis medication. So it all goes back towards the cats. So thank you again. Have a good night, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.